Hey, it's Jillian, and today I'll be reading Forget Me Not, Friendship Blossoms by Michael Broad, and today I'm with my best friend, Michaela. And we are at our favorite hangout, hangout spot, the lake, and I asked her to be in this video because this book is about friendship. When the herd arrived at the watering hole, Forget Me Not stayed close to his mother. There are so many different animals, Mama, he whispered. How will I make friends? Just be yourself, she smiled. We'll soon see how wonderful you are. Forget Me Not splashed into the water and headed for the huge hippos. Will you be my friends, he asked. I like to wallow in the water too. You're much too small to wallow with us, puffed the hippos and sank beneath the surface. Will you be my friends, he asked the lazy lizards who were sailing in the sun. That looks like lots of fun. You're much too big to play with us, laughing the lizards and swiftly sailed away. Forget Me Not approached the other young elephants, feeling sure that he was almost the right size. Will you be my friends, he asked. I'm not too big or too small to play ball. You're too young to play with us, they said, and turned their backs on the little elephant. Before he went to sleep that night, Forget Me Not huddled close to his mother. No one wants to be my friend, Mama, he sighed. I must not be wonderful at all. You are my darling, she said, but friendships sometimes need time to blossom. What's a blossom, asked Forget Me Not. Blossoms are special flowers that grow on trees, said his mother. They take time to bloom, but are always worth the wait. And she stroked his head until he was fast asleep. Forget Me Not didn't really understand what his mama meant about blossom, but he remembered that it had something to do with trees and time. So the next day he waited below the bare branches in the woods. He felt very much alone until... Hello, I'm Cherry, said a voice from above. What are you doing? Forget Me Not looked up to see a young giraffe peering down at him. I'm waiting for the blossom, he said. Me too, gasped Cherry. My mama says the blossoms are beautiful. Mama said, my mama says that friendships blossom, said Forget Me Not. I don't see how flowers could possibly make a friendship, Cherry frowned. Forget Me Not and Cherry stood beneath different trees, each waiting for their own particular flowers to arrive. Do you want to play while we wait, asked Cherry. Okay, Forget Me Not shrugged. As the days passed by, Forget Me Not and Cherry spent all of their time together. They played tag among the trees and chased butterflies around the trunks. Sometimes they simply sat in the shade and enjoyed each other's company. One day the hippos and the lizards and the elephants approached them, gazing above their heads in amazement. Forget Me Not and Cherry were having so much fun together they hadn't noticed that the blossoms had bloomed, filling the sky with bright pink flowers. Everyone wanted to play with the blossoms, but the hippos were too big and the lizards too lazy. And like Forget Me Not, the young elephants couldn't stretch their trunks up that high. Cherry smiled. She reached up and nudged a branch of blossoms, showering Forget Me Not with tiny pink petals. He had become a very special friend. Forget Me Not invited the other animals to join in their fun and soon he had lots of friends. He did not mind at all if they were bigger or smaller or older than him, but Cherry was always his best friend, and like his mama, she thought Forget Me Not was wonderful. Wish upon Forget Me Not's blossoms to remember to tell your friends how wonderful they are. The end. Did you like the book, Michaela? Yes, I did. I did too, and I think we're kind of like Cherry and Forget Me Not. What do you think? We are. <laughs> Here's a tip. You can always read with your family and friends, and y'all can take turns reading the book together, and you can talk about the book afterwards. And let me just tell you, Michaela, you are wonderful. Thank you. Thanks. <laughs> Bye. Hey, it's Julie Anna, and today I will be reading Forget Me Not, Friendship Blossoms, and today I am with my best friend. I was supposed to say my name. <laughs> the water and headed for the huge hippos. Will you be my friends, he asked. I like to wallow. <laughs> <laughs> you have to read this. 